Hey everyone, Transfer Dan here. I hope you're doing well today. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video, which you can see from the package here. It's kind of here, it's all ready, it's still sealed, but I am ready to go. Uh, very quickly before I begin today's video, um, this package was sent by the Spider Shop, so a huge thank you to those. Uh, they are kind of like unofficial kind of like sponsors of this channel, pretty much. Um, Obviously, most of my um, collection comes from them. So, a huge thank you to everyone at Spider Shop. Uh, Link to them can be found in the description of this video. Also, I'd like to very quickly just say, and I need to make sure that this is sort of said now, because in the last video I did uh, to do with my girlfriend and the house spider, uh, people were saying about uh, sort of like talking for too long and all that kind of thing, basically. And I get it. I do talk a lot and I do apologise. Tuesday's videos are Talking Tuesdays um that's that's like more of a, a vloggy type video any day thursdays are taking it easy thursdays which is what this is it's taking it easy saturdays are going to be the more serious kind of focused video uh what i want to say very quickly before i begin the actual unboxing video um is just a huge thank you to my patrons honestly um many of you will know that doing youtube at the moment is my only source of income and so those of you that support me on patreon um it really does help me out and um whether you support me with uh, just a dollar or you know the higher tiers it really all matters to me and uh, you are enabling me to keep doing this so um, if you are a patron a huge thank you and if you'd like to and you can you know spare anything if you're happy to support me in my channel then you can find links to my patreon below as well as cards annotations um, I will be doing um, you know sort of posts on my patreon page and I'm also planning on in the future whenever I do uh, an unboxing video like this I will be doing them live on Patreon so that uh, they can, you know, you, my patrons, can kind of see what goes into the filming side of things from behind the scenes. So you can see the actual videos get sort of filmed and I can also talk to you whilst doing that. So I hope you'll enjoy that. So that's my quick mentions out of the way um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. So as I say, we're going to begin by just opening this box up. Like I said, you can see here, it is still sealed. So I'm going to just um, open this up really, really quickly. Another thing I want to mention is that uh, someone did make a comment about why I said about covering up my address and things in the last video. Again, um, I believe it was Hayley Turner, I think. Um, and just to sort of clear this up, the reason is because I don't have my peer box live at the moment. Um, I don't want people to ask to send me things because there is no way that I'm willing to give out my address apart from to the people that I have known for very many years. So I said that I, I said that about the YouTubers having my address just to make it clear that it's not like it's going to like just like a peer box kind of thing, if that makes sense. So I meant in the nicest way possible. Um, so yeah, I'm going to continue to open this up. We have a few spiders in here and actually some really cool things. So of course, we'll remove the, um, the poly chips. Right, two spiders. Three, four spiders. Another spider. I think, I think that's it. Oh, no, one more. Oops. Well then, so if I clear the box, so we have uh, two, four, six, eight, and nine spiders. Maybe I should put all of these here so you can all kind of see them on uh, the camera that's down there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly go through and tell you what I've got. And then in the next part, we're going to be uh, rehousing them. Okay, then, so the first thing we have is a centipede. I'll put the text up on the screen. Um, so this one is actually a replacement, a replacement for my girlfriend's, who um, hers basically we think maybe escaped. Um, we haven't found it. It was a bit of an accident. The um, enclosure that it was in was one of these ones. And the I'll show you on this, like the one side had been clipped down, but the other side was just sort of slightly raised. 
and we think it had uh, got out that way. It happens, it's not the end of the world kind of thing. Uh, it may still pop up, who knows. So one of those. Uh, next up, we have two Tlidocartal abopolosis. Um, so these are different because these are from an island. They're an island form. I can't remember exactly what it is. Again, I'll put all the information on the screen. Um, so there's the hobby form. There's the true pure kind of blood form. And then there's these ones. Uh, these, I've never seen these for sale before. Um, so I spoke to Lee and he has sent me these, which is really, really nice of him. Next up is two... Lassiodora polycus palatus. Um, I've never seen these for, for sale as things before, so that's really, really exciting. We also have two Lassiodora striatopes. Um, so we now have the Lassiodora uh, parahybana, striatopes, polycus palatus, klugi, and difficilis. So we have five uh, different species of Lassiodora, which is really, really awesome. Um, I think I said that quite fast. So I'll put the species um, down here, maybe over this side, as to the species of Lassiodora that I have. And then I have these, um, the P. orthus. Uh, these are Cuban golds, I believe the common name is. I'm not very good with common names, um, but these are really, really beautiful spiders. In fact, if, um, if there's a picture of these still on the spider shop, I'll put a picture up here of them. Or I'll try and find an image from Google, uh, the image that I can find, if I can find one, will not be my image. It's, um, you know, credit to the whoever holds the, the rights to that image. But these spiders are really, really nice. Um, so we've got two of those as well. So, yeah, we've got uh, eight tarantulas and one centipede. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've shown you obviously on screen what they are called. The reason I'm doing this quite quick, by the way, is because it's quite late and um, I want to try and get this done kind of fairly quickly and also i want to try and get these um kind of unpacked as soon as i can so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be uh rehoused them now but i'm going to be focusing on using just this camera i think for now and then we'll take a look at them and uh, get them rehoused so i did just mention that i'm going to switch to just this camera now and the reason for that is because my other camera the battery is nearly dead which is a bit of a shame um i have some enclosures here what i need to do very quickly is do a, a couple of rehousings um, I thought I had more of these tubs um, available, these ones and the round ones, however I'm actually a little bit short. So I'm going to uh, be rehousing two spiders, the P. Metallica and P. Uh The enclosures are already kind of made up for them so that's fine, I'm going to do that really really quickly. Um, text on the screen for what the spider is. Once I've done the two Proglotheria rehouse then um, I'm going to quickly tidy up the enclosures that they were in and then I'll continue with the rehousings of the unboxings I've just had. Okay then, so first up is the P. Metallica. You can see I have the enclosure here for it. It's um, doing quite good actually because this spot is just molted. And I believe the molt is still in there. It's sort of tucked away at the very bottom here. I don't think you'll be able to see it. So I'm going to very carefully take the front of this. I think it actually said a mealworm in here. You can see the spider there. And so what I'm going to do, if I just adjust this, One P. Metallica, rehoused nice and, e nice and easy. Next up is the Pocotheria ornata. This is actually the pot that I had the uh, the Lassiodora Powerhide Banner Slings in from Martin Lees. 
So uh, yeah, this spot is just molted as well recently. So again, try and take the front of this off. If you're, of course, using tweezers. I'm actually going to place all that web in there because it's uh, should be fine for it. See the the malt. Yeah, the malt are going to focus. Your nitro is in there. Of course, not a problem. No problem with escapees. No fit posture. No chasing the uh, the spider around. Just straight to it. Okay, so these two enclosures are for the P aratus, which are here. Now the uh, T. Apopolosus here, two L. Polycus palatus, which are these two here, and then the L. Stratopes will be in these two here. Uh, the centipede, the enclosure is already made, but it's not. I'll do that afterwards once I've done all these things. So um, I'm going to do them in that order. Uh, text will be down here on the screen for the species that I'm be housing, and I hope you enjoy.
Okay then, so the rehousing part is done very very quickly and um, obviously they are very small so you can't really see them all that well but I thought I'd take a second to just sort of show you the room now and uh, to show you just some of these spiders obviously I won't be sort of showing you all them up close but just a quick pan so you can see how everything's looking You can see I have a very quick uh, label on the front of all of my enclosures just to tell me what the species are and then I have a, a notepad on my phone where I have the um, obviously the species, the, um, the malt feeding, all that kind of thing and I update it as they go. Anything where there's more than one, for example the C verse colour, they are numbered and that way I can sort of keep a check on which one's which. You have these, and uh, this is the centipede from the unboxing. I haven't actually rehoused it yet, I will have to do that tomorrow because it's really, really late now. And um, I need to get figure out which enclosure is, is the one that's ready for this. So, um, this is the sand spider, actually molted uh, fairly recently. So that's probably going to be due for a feed, which I'll probably include that in Saturday's video. Of course, here are the Lassidora Pauhibanus things. Here's my huge P. regalis. The Numavida Samika breeding pair, C. Sail, uh, not C. Sail, I C. Sandery. Uh, these are all my terrestrial slings here. These are my arboreal slings, uh, dragon headed millipede run here. These are the Ornata Metallica I just rehoused. These are my centipedes, my two males from Leyland, who is my highest tier patron. Thank you to Leyland. You can see the, the Albiceps male and Aratum male. Uh, cockroaches, assassin bug, various other spiders. And uh, over here, this is a very quick look at this. This isn't lit up. This is the sh shelf on the top. A bunch of collectible things, lenses. Uh, gifts from people that uh, from people when people would send me things to my PO box or meet at shows. This is where the scorpion is. I call this one. I'll cover that word up because of any children that can read. But um, it's a uh, H I T S rearranged. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, my Comacta Palma Scientific I do a spy a, a video on this spider very very soon. He's a uh, one of my girlfriend's slings, one of these. Again, terrestrial and arboreal, of course, Zelda. Uh, two H uh, Cameroon spiders. Uh, these are, I believe, are both gravid and have sealed themselves off, so fingers crossed they are. And then, of course, there is, uh, of course, there's Yuna as well. You can see she's just having a lay down there. She's watching me whilst I'm filming. I put some more logs in there and I have to uh, get the plants and things in there now but I'm holding off on doing that just for now. This is a Trina Charles Marinus up here and uh, the other bearded dragon that we recently had after Gex died. So um, overall there's about 200 or so animals in here now and um, more to come as well as some breeding. Of course the Celadonia isn't here because that's um, with Martin Lees uh, also in here. These are the um, feeders, nice and warm in there which is why they breed so well. Um, although we did add some just to top it up. Of course the leopard gecko crabs down there and of course Ramsey. So yeah, uh, that's the unboxing video. I thought I'd just do a very quick tour of the room. If there's anything that you'd like to see, please do um, uh, feel free to drop me a message, leave a comment, let me know in the uh, comment section below. I'd love to sort of, you know, take requests and 
you know, show you anything that you want from any of the shelves. So I hope you've all enjoyed this very quick video. Um, I'll say it quick, I don't actually know how long it is, but you know, I've tried to keep it sort of fairly straightforward. But I hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, please stay tuned for the next one, of course. Don't forget to um, subscribe if you aren't already, it does really help me out. And uh, if you would like to support me even more, um, I have a Patreon, which you can uh, support me there as well. All links can be found in the description and then at the end of the video. So thanks for watching everyone, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.